Hi and welcome to another video from the best of CET series. In this video, we are going to cover pie chart which is a part of data interpretation. I have a question or I have a set rather with four questions following it. What you can do is you can have a look at the set, the questions that we have, pause the video, try the questions out on your own and then have a look at the solution that will follow. The ideal time to solve this particular question is three minutes. So make sure that you are hugging yourself and solving this question within three minutes. If not, you can take some cues from how I will be solving this question on the other side of the set. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, you can join the IMS zero fee prep programs that will give you access to concept videos, sectionals, full length tests and more for free. You may click on the i button or on the link in the description box below to access the same. Happy learning. In the first question, we have to find the number of non-managerial employees who received a grade not higher than C+. Now you have to understand what exactly is going on in this context and if you are able to read the chart properly quickly, you will be able to solve this question very quickly. So in this particular context, we know that out of the 10,000 employees that are present in this organization, what we have here is A+, comprising of 12% of the entire employee population, A is 10%, A minus is 8%, B plus is 15% and so on. Of these people who are a part of grade A plus or who have received A plus, we know that three parts is managerial and one part is non-managerial. This does not mean that there are three managers who have received an A plus and one non-manager who has received an A plus. No, that's not what it means. It basically means that out of the 12% of the total population that has an A plus as the grade or, um, or basically the grade as A plus, what is happening here is three out of every four people are managerial and or managers and one out of four people has a non-managerial job. So that is basically what it means. Now in this context, we need to know how many people have received a grade not higher than C plus. Not higher than C plus meaning C plus is okay, C is okay, C minus is okay. But if someone has got a B minus, no, that's not okay because that is a grade greater or higher than C plus. So in this particular context, let's see what, what exactly happens. So in terms of C plus, if you look at it, four by five are managers, or 1 by 5 are non-managers. We have to find the number of non-managerial employees. So, one-fifth of the people who got a grade C plus are non-managers or are non-managerial employees. How many people or what is the percentage of the total population that has gotten a grade of C plus? 5 percent. What is one-fifth of 5 percent? 1 percent. So, 1 percent of the total population got a grade of C plus and do non-managerial work. That is basically what it means. Similarly, if you look at C, the total population that we have here, 10% of it has received a grade C. Out of the number of people who have received a grade C, can we say that three-fifth of the people who have received a grade C have a non-managerial job? So we can say that three-fifth of 10% has a non-managerial job. 3 by 5 into 10 is going to give you 6%. So 6% of the overall working population in this particular organization will be having non-managerial jobs and would have also received a grade of C. Similarly, C minus 3 fifth of 5% is C minus. So 3 by 5 into 5 is 3% of total. So can we say that together we have 10% of the total population who would have got a grade of not higher than C plus and they would also be doing non-managerial work. What is 10% of the total population? 10% of 10,000. What is 10% 10 of 10,000? 1,000. So the correct answer here is option E that is 1,000. Now this is more of an observation based question. You have to understand that which of these grades has been obtained by a greater number. That number is very important. Greater number of employees at the managerial level than those at the non-managerial level. So for the grade that has been mentioned here out of these five that we have here, in which grade do you one have more managers than non-managers and two, the difference should be the maximum. So the first checkpoint is if the number of managers is not greater than the number of non-managers, then it's not going to be an issue at all. That's not going to be considered at all. So if you look at A minus, in terms of A minus for every one manager, you have three non-managers or three people with non-managerial jobs. So this is definitely not a place wherein the managers are greater than the people who are doing non-managerial work. So A minus is definitely not going to give me a positive difference. Similarly, if you look at B plus, for every one manager, you have four non-managers. 
doesn't make any sense. Similarly, for B, you for every one manager, you have one non-manager. So, you can say that in this particular context, the gap is going to be 0, which is still fine. If the others are negative, then this is obviously the best gap. What about A plus? If you look at A plus, for every three managers, you have one non-manager, which means that there is going to be a surplus of managers compared to non-managers. So, definitely this is something which is a positive number, which means that option C is also not correct. Now, if you look at the fifth option, we have to figure out what is happening in terms of B minus. In terms of the people who have received B minus grade, two parts consists of managers, three parts consists of non-managers, which one is greater? The number of non-managers will obviously be greater than the number of managers who would have received a grade of B minus. Again, my answer is going to be negative. So, E is not my answer. So, my answer here is D. I need not even calculate what exactly is going to be my answer. I only know that out of the five values that we have here, A plus is definitely going to be positive. Others are either zero or negative. And so, my answer is going to be T. If you want to calculate, you can calculate and see it for yourself as to why this thing works. But during the test, you are expected to do it at this particular speed. In this question, we have to figure out the number of employees at the managerial level to those at the non-managerial level. So, considering that we have already figured out non-managerial level employees for C minus, C and C plus, we can just go ahead and figure out the total number of people with non-managerial levels and then just use it to figure out the number of people who are doing a managerial job. So, in this particular context, we knew that these three contributed to 10% of the total population in the workplace. So that was the answer to the first question. Now, if you do the same thing for the, uh, th for the remaining grades that we have here, we will again get some answers. So, in terms of A plus, one fourth will be non-managerial, one fourth of 12%, which is 3% of total. Similarly, in terms of A, we have two fifth of 10%. So, two fifth of 10% is 4%. Similarly, for A minus, you will have three fourth of 8%, which will be 6%. Similarly, 4 fifth of 15%, you will have 12%. Similarly, half of 20%, you will have 10%. And 3 fifth of 15%, you will have 9%. So, that is basically what we have here. So, 3 plus 4, 7 plus 6, 13 plus 12, 25 plus 10, 35 plus 9, 44 plus 10, 54. So, 54% are non-managerial level means that 46% are managerial level. Now, the number of employees is basically going to be 46% of 10,000 divided by 54% of 10,000. It does not matter. We simply have to do 46 by 54. The answer to which is going to be 23 by 27. So, the correct answer here is managerial to non-managerial 46 to 54 or 23 to 27. So, the answer here is option C 23 is to 27. In this question, we can again use data from the previous question to solve this, but again, I do not have the luxury of doing that. So, I will calculate it for each of these five values. The thing to understand here is that we again do not have to calculate the number of employees. Percentage of overall, if you are taking percentage of one constant thing throughout, you will be able to figure out which one out of these five is the best. So, again, let us try to see what exactly happens here and then we will be able to answer this question. So, in terms of B minus, so in terms of B minus, we have 15 percent, two fifth of 15 percent, 2 by 5 into 15 will give you 6 percent. So, B minus has been received by 6 percent at the managerial level. C plus, if you look at it, is 4 fifth of 5 percent. So, 4 by 5 into 5 will be 4 percent. So, obviously, A is winning. Similarly, if you look at C, you have 2 fifth of 10 percent. 2 by 5 into 10 is again 4 percent. So, C is again out of the uh, question. What about B plus? 1 fifth. B plus is 1 fifth of 15 or 3 percent. So, again it is not making any sense. A minus if you look at it, 1 fourth. 1 fourth of 8 percent will be 2 percent. So, again that is not the highest. So, which one is the greatest out of these 5 that we have got? Option A that is B minus which will be 6 percent. So, again, you have to develop this kind of a speed when it comes to solving questions which involve basic level of calculation. So, we have not calculated anything uh, that is extremely abstruse as such. We have calculated everything that is straightforward. You just need to be good with ratios and percentages, especially if you want to crack sets that are based on pie charts. I will see you again in another video. Till then, happy learning.